Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe, hit the like button, hit the notification bell in order for you to be notified every time I upload new content. And of course, if you enjoy what you see here on this channel, go ahead and share with your friends and don't forget to leave me a comment. So today's topic is going to be on a product review of a mineral sunscreen as you can tell from the title. So if you want to see my impression about this sunscreen, stick around with me, we're going to get into it. Alright, so thank you for sticking around. Like I said, I'm going to be doing a product review on a mineral sunscreen. And I know it's not the first time that I talk about this topic on my channel because I feel that sunscreen is an important step in your skincare routine and it should not be overlooked. So I have mentioned before in a Facebook Live that I did that you can always go and check out that uh, we should, as dark skin people, protect our skin from the harmful UVAs and UVBs from the sun on a daily basis. Being dark does not excuse us from having to wear sunscreen. It's a very important part of the skincare routine and it adds protection. So a good way uh, to know what kind of damages you can get from either UVA or UVB. While the UVA, uh, A can stand for aging. So if you protect your skin against the UVA rays of the sun, then you're protecting your skin from damages that can cause it to age prematurely. Uh, the B can stand for burns, so if you protect your, your skin against the UVB rays, then you're protecting yourself from getting some burn. So um, I went ahead and ordered this uh, sunscreen. So in my Facebook Live, I mentioned that I was interested in trying a uh, sunscreen. This one is a mineral sunscreen and it is uh, by the brand uh, called Averse. And I have heard that this was good for dark skin people, so I was really uh, looking forward for it to arrive. I got it from this website uh, called Resolve, and I'm going to try it today. And so far, what I've done to my skin, uh, it's prepped. So sunscreen is the last step in your skincare routine. So after you wash, uh, you hydrate, uh, you finish with your sunscreen and then you can add makeup on top of that if that's what you wish or just uh, step out the door. So I like the, the size of this because it's easily uh, can be put into your purse and it won't take too much room um, in your purse. So it's uh, no excuse. Uh, you can have it with you all the time to reapply throughout the day for some protection. So um, I don't know if you know this, but there are some areas in the world where uh, chemical sunscreens are banned because they have uh, in toxic ingredients such as uh, oxybenzon and the list goes on um, when it comes to chemical sunscreens and studies have shown that they damage sea life. So if you're planning on traveling, make sure uh, where you're going, what the bands are because I believe the bands were in effect uh, this year in 2020. So um, be careful not to carry it with you because it's banned so you may um, have some trouble using it if you're going to the beach over there. So uh, this is why I choose mineral sunscreen because they don't have these, um, these chemicals that are harmful to you and harmful to the environment. So we may think that sometimes, um, like I say, uh, sunscreen should be used on the daily and we may think that 
um, because we're going out today and it's uh, cloudy, that is not uh, very important if we skip on the step. And I would say absolutely not because it has been shown that 80% um, of the sun's uh, UV rays do get through the clouds and so you're not protecting uh, yourself uh, if you go into a, outside in, in a cloudy day thinking oh it's okay because I don't have my sunscreen it's, it's not sunny uh, the rays they are penetrating through the clouds and here in Canada we have winters we have snow and so we may think that uh, the days are shorter anyways and Oh, you know, I, I, it's not important to to go out and have to put on the sunscreen. And I would say again, no, because the sun is so white, it reflects back the sun's UV rays. And so it's also capable of reflecting back up 80% uh, of the UV rays. So you really like, you just can't get out of this. I would say use your sunscreen every day to protect yourself from air uh, damages that you can have from aging. So I'm going to put this here on my hand because the formula is, it looks a bit orange. The formula is a bit orange and uh, which is uh, a relief for me in a sense because the last sunscreen I tested on this channel, uh, it was white and it uh, showed up white on my face as well. This is one thing that slows us down as dark skinned people to wear sunscreen, is finding one that melts into our skin. So of course, like the chemical ones tend to do that, but as I say, they are harmful to your health and also to the environment, so I avoid them. So I'm gonna put this on my face and I really want to see how it blends. And um, I wanted to add about uh, <laughs> how the sun damages, um, I mean the UV UVAs damage the skin. What UVAs do when they, they penetrate on the deeper levels of the skin and what they will do is damage the elastic fibers of your skin and those elastic fibers that's what um, allows your skin to be firm and so once that is damaged then uh, wrinkles will appear and nobody likes to look older than what they really are right so let's do what we can to prevent unnecessary sun damage okay so this is how it's bending feel this feels nice it it's uh it applies very nicely and smooth which is a plus because we really don't want um white cast some of those are chemical, not chemical, but some of those are mineral sunscreen behind it because of the same oxide. So we're trying to, um, to get the best blend. Alright, so this is how it blended. I <laughs> I really like it. I don't feel white in any way, so I'm going to leave it on a few minutes, see how, how, how it really finishes. And um, yeah, just a reminder that uh, sun damage can cause not only winter aging, but uh, also skin cancer if we're not careful, so we really don't want to go there. 
So we do our best to protect ourselves. And as I mentioned before in a previous video, uh, dark skinned people are more prone to die from skin cancer when they get it because it's usually diagnosed in its later stages in our case because we are not educated as to you know what exactly it is the first signs here and there and so we um, die one and a half times more from skin cancer than uh, other people so no we have to add this um, sunscreen every day when we're going outside and even JLo uh, recently mentioned something that she had implemented a wearing sunscreen early in her life and this is why her skin looks uh, as good as it does today so nobody likes to look older than what they really are on top of that and so we wear the sunscreen and us as dark skinned people we often suffer from things like uh, hyperpigmentation discoloration adding the sunscreen to your routine will help you deal with these problems because if you don't have the sunscreen protection and you have these dark spots and then the sun is hitting your face then it's just making those dark spots worse and so adding the sunscreen there will protect uh, your skin from getting further damages uh, to these dark spots and giving you a chance to even up your skin so um, I said this before, sunscreen it is an important part of the skincare routine. Um, if you're going to be investing a uh, certain amount of money in getting um, the lotions, uh, moisturizers, and so on and so forth, it's for nothing really if you don't have the sunscreen protection on top of it. Because if you're going out and letting the sun damage, the elastic fibers of your skin over time because sun damage is cumulative you won't see the damage overnight it's over time and it's irreversible so you may do all kinds of things to try and combat the, the damages but really isn't it always best to prevent <laughs> so let's go for that so it's been a few minutes uh, this sunscreen has been on my face let me turn to the mirror and I put a lot, eh? put a lot and I, my face looks fine. I really like it. I love it. Like uh, I, I'm really happy that I found something that uh, really works with my skin tone uh, that is not leaving me looking white. Um, so, so there's really no excuse. There are products out there that can really uh, benefit us as dark skin people when it comes to the sunscreen protection. So this is one uh, verse. So I, I recommend it. Have it in your, your purse, uh, keep it with you. I mean, it's small enough to fit in your purse. So there's no reason for you not to have this and just like uh, uh, have your protection on hand because most of the time you need to reapply throughout the day your sunscreen and this is a broad spectrum 35 and so this means that it protects you across all the harmful UVAs and UVB rays and that's what you want to look for when you're shopping for a sunscreen you have to see the broad spectrum protection there so that's a thumbs up for me if you're looking for protection uh, from the sun, go for this. Uh, as you can see, I put it on my face and it melted, it's, it's blended, I don't see anything white. So I can go on and finish my makeup and go about my day. All right, so this is me after I finish my makeup. So I have my sunscreen underneath all of this and I think I did a good job <laughs> so what do you think go ahead and leave me a comment in uh, the um, comment box and share with me what it is that you like to use as sunscreen and do you care about the environment do you mind what kind of like chemicals you're pumping into your body so on and so forth uh, so far I have uh, nothing but great reviews for this uh, first sunscreen so this is one that I'm going to recommend uh, for dark skinned people to use in order to protect ourselves from uh, UVAs, UVBs, from the sun and stay younger looking longer and avoid 
any types of skin cancer. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. And don't forget to share, like, comment, and hit the notification bell. Go ahead and share with your friends. What else can I say? This uh, channel is all about uh, health and beauty. So this is what I talk about. Go ahead and subscribe, like, share, and leave a comment. And don't forget, be beautiful and be healthy while at it.